And the idea that any American could think the First Amendment might go too far means that we as a people haven't done the first things of teaching it. And the data is actually much worse than just something that you might think emanates from the campuses right now. The 41% of Americans under age 35 who think the First Amendment goes too far. If you ask the general voting public, if you ask the general voting public, can you name some of the freedoms in the First Amendment? What is the Bill of Rights about? What can you name? 57% can name freedom of speech. 57%. 19% name freedom of religion as a freedom that exists. And none of the other three freedoms of the First Amendment break 10%. Think about that. When you think of Benjamin Franklin ambling out of Constitution, now Constitution Hall in Philadelphia in 1788 and the little old lady in the, the maybe apocryphal story and comes up to him and says, Mr. Franklin, what kind of country did you give us? What kind of government have you built? And he says, it's a republic if you can keep it. I would hazard to guess that most of our founders who were in Philadelphia, if they knew the state of civic catechesis and civic understanding today, they might have made another run at George Washington about accepting that monarchy.